It's the do. Do the do. Bum, 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 bum. What's up everybody, Do right back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna be talking more about Ground Branch. I've been behind the scenes compiling footage to show off for you guys. I've seen decisions being made and I was able to have my input heard. It was really exciting. We were also fiddling around with the new game mode for the multiplayer. And this is what I'm going to show off first. All the decisions and then the gameplay. So let's go. Uh, one bridge. So, uh, okay. yeah. No stropes for me. No stropes. No stripes. Awesome. No stripes. So you, you should only see your teammates. So all the uh, black pajamas over with me, and you guys, you heathens over there. Not shooting anybody. Yeah, I'm seeing IR lasers from everybody. I can see IR lasers. Yeah. Yeah, it's a disco I'm, I'm here. Systematically blinding everybody. Yep. Right in your eyeballs. But I do not see IR strobes on the other team. Can we see? Regular? All right, lasers off. Do you all have strobes on over there in Bravo? Yeah, yeah. I see them. I do not see the strobe. Do you see ours? No. No. Well, Can we see the regular lasers? Yes. Uh, regular you lasers should be able work. to. Yeah. So, regular lasers on, guys. So, night vision off, regular lasers on. And that's how it should be. Oh, that's cool looking. Cool. It looks like Mission Impossible right now. Imagine being the poor sod walks through a door and gets like this many lasers put on you. So it looks okay, like so IR actually, lasers so... do not work properly. You were t turning. Well, your... they do. You were turning IR lasers... lasers off when your IR yeah. lasers were on, were you? Oh, I thought uh, we were gonna. I thought we had it set up where IR lasers only showed for your team. Yeah, well, that's that, the confusion. I set it up so that lasers, IR lasers, showed for both if you lost your night vision, but that. IR strobes did not, so we'll have to decide on that and make a final, I guess. Because I can see, I'm pretty sure I can see some of you guys, you've got both IR laser and regular laser on together, no? I don't think yeah. that's possible, is it? Uh, I'm not sure if the PEC will support that, but the code will. Looks cool though. Um, so what, the, what is the decision then? We're going to have IR strobes visible team only and IR designators team only, or what? All right, this group right here will decide this feature. What do we want? Decision time. If we only see our own lasers, what's the point of having the strobes? Sorry, I'm radio. If we only see our own strobes, what's the point of making the lasers team only? Because the strobes let you tell. Well, the laser designators, uh, IR ones, help you visualize targets and so forth. So I can say, hey, I'm going to this door. Hey, I'm targeting this dude. Signaling. It's a game. It's a gamey thing versus real life. But if yeah. we know we can only see our own team's designators, then there's less chance of a friendly fire. So, I think everyone should see all the lasers, and the strobes are there to help distinguish as they should be. Well, that's my vote as well at the moment. I, I'm with that. That I, I strobes team only, but lasers everybody. But it might turn out to be a sucky gameplay decision. So I don't know. Yeah, but it also adds a. Uh... I don't know what the right word is. A mechanic to the game, I guess? Because you know that people, other people can see it, so you have to like really pick and choose your targets with that one. Yeah. Make a conscious effort to choose when to use it. Well, the thing is, it also becomes a gameplay thing, because, you know, if you're going to charge in a door, and all of a sudden there's a beam coming through the door, you're going to be like, oh, shit. So, for all you know, you know, that guy has a full magazine all the rest, when in reality he's actually completely out of ammo. He's just, you know, phasing you out with it. So it could I be suppose a game another thing. thing is, would you always see the beam? Because if you only see the dot, that makes it more strategic. Well, you see the right. beam. The IR laser is more of a beam than the regular laser. Who's who's this guy here? Who's this? Because he's I, got I, Chris. All right, you've got an IR laser only, and I can see it. And we've yep. just all yeah, but we've just all said that we couldn't see each other's IR lasers. But I can no, see we can't see IR each other's laser. IR strobes. Actually, I can see his too as well, yeah. If I turn around, you shouldn't be able to see the back of my head flashing. No, I Correct. can't see the strobes, but I can the see strobe. the I IR can see all lasers. Yeah, yes, lasers should be visible. Laser. Yeah, the strobe okay. should not be visible. Alright, that's cool. Yeah. I think, so I think right now... Be... Yeah, I think it's... So, so far, no one's turned around and said, No, no IR lasers. No, I've only had one person say IR lasers, yes. So. Also, okay, if so... Are we I officially like, saying lasers are visible by everybody? I think how it is now is pretty good. 
Yeah, of yes, how it is now is what we're saying should be correct. If you're in a yep. light area like this without NVG, then you won't see the RL lasers at all, so it's also context dependent. Yeah, Good you point. have to have uh, NVGs on for it to work. Okay, well that right there is the community at work. We have made a decision on a feature. Boom. Now who's yeah, going to be the go. first one to shoot everybody? Oh, you dodgy fuck. Oh, fuck! Well, I didn't get shot. I'm oh, fragged. You, you throw that? Rhea, still clear. Six. You cover him and nag it. Watch the blast. Don't stand up. I really can't tell where he is. I think on the right side where the. Shit. The next part is where we discuss the aftermath of a new game mode that was just a concept at the time, but it was pretty fun. It's like a team PvP where one team is supposed to spawn inside of a building and the other ones are to spawn outside and look to see which building they're in and then attack that building. That's basically the concept and we discuss it here. I actually like the idea that you don't know what building and you have to kind of figure it out first. That made it interesting. Yeah, I think so. 
It That's slowed everything down, but I like that aspect because, like, well, oh, shit, are they in that building or that building? No, they wouldn't be an A. A is too small. Then it turns out you were an A. As long as there's nobody picking you off from another building while you're breaching one that they're not in. Well, that might be that the might thing. That might get weird. You, you, that might be the thing. The defending team picks a building and they're stuck in that building. The attacking yeah. team doesn't know which building. Um, but yeah, so it's, they only have to kind of clear, you know, figure out which building from a distance first, but carefully, because they could be picked off by the building they're actually in. You mean yeah, reconnaissance? Yeah. Yeah, actual recon before you attack. Uh, Use quick, your binoculars. Quick question, yeah, so if you're breaking all the rules, if I run outside, for example, just as a hypothetical example, uh, should I then just suicide? Uh, nah, I wouldn't worry about it. Question. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. But that is something we're going to have to figure out on Chris and I's end. As far as the technical side of it, what happens if, with the real game type if that happens? Yeah. Maybe you just need uh, invisible walls to stop defenders going outside or something, or a yeah, very small spare. perimeter. Or is well, it, it might be that you can't leave until it's breached, or you can't leave until the first gunshots from the attackers go off or something like that. It's kind of an artificial way of doing an objective where there's something in that building you have to protect. So in real life, you know, you might want to stay in the building because that's the objective, but you might want to defend it from another building. So you're kind of yeah. making it artificially the same game type, but with more clunky bits, I guess. Well, these are things you need to smooth out, see? <laughs> I'm being devil's advocate. So, you know, it, it's natural to leave a building if you're getting nated on the inside, I guess. So it'd be nice to have that as an option that makes sense in the game type. Yeah, if that's your only yeah. out, yeah. take it. Well, maybe that's the thing, that, um, you know, when you've spawned, you can't, and as uh, we progress, you know, like a 30-second timer, and then it says, okay, now you can leave. Just so at least for that initial uh, 30 seconds, you're aware where, where you're supposed to be, giving the attacking team a chance to move around a little bit. Or, or maybe you can leave off the first shot or grenade. Just oh, that kind of sucks if the first grenade off. wipes out half the team, though. That's what we were until now. Uh, well, let's try it again and see how we go. That was fun. What about a, a three-round system where, like, like the first two rounds you know exactly where the buildings are, and then the last one is like a free-for-all, like you have to go find the building. That yeah, could be that's a possibility cool. too. That kind of stuff works really well on this map. Yeah, well, this is tiny, so it's good. Come and get me, you bastards! Do rags there. Sorry, Justin's down. Come in already. Stop shooting through windows. Come in. Forgot you're on my team. Sneaky bastard. <laughs> it's all you, buddy. Come on in. Outside. 
Should we go and kill him now? Oh shit! Damn. Did he get a nade through the door? Yeah, I shot it as he fucking. Oh, bad frag. That was a great nice frag. One. <laughs> that was a good nade through that door then. That's great. Oh. One down. He was sitting out the window looking out. Same building we were in. Yeah, they're yeah. running around upstairs. Ah, damn, you got enough frickin' grenades? That was friendly fire. Bloody flashed myself upstairs, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I was like, hold fire fucking upstairs, shit! <laughs> that spot in the basement is pretty awesome. Oh shit, he got him. Did he get him through that fucking wall? No. I, I think it can go through. No, I think it's the dude uh, southwest sniped him. Yeah, I think he shot him like in between the two fucking sandbags. Or what do you call those? Cement bags? Uh, Chris has got like a 12 times scope on his uh, 416 from the southwest corner. So uh, I think he took him out. I didn't realize I could be seen. But yeah, fair play.
Yeah, there's a uh, like little crack in between to watch the door and the. I was taking a lot of fire. I didn't know it was directed. The only two people left are the devs of the game. Those rapid grenades are crazy in the beginning, though. I'll be honest. I got twenty bucks on V two. Oh, oh, double. Ah, they shot each other. Ah. Yes, the back door is totally clear. Come on through. Need it. Good up there. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're trying to find out which building they're in. Oh, I thought we were supposed to be told what building they're in. Uh, this time not. To make it different. So that's what we're saying, figure out what building they're in. A, the tiny little building. Dude, you're talking on comms, everyone can hear you. They can only hear me if they're close, and I'm so far away, they won't be able to hear shit. So radio is team only? Team only at far, and everybody at close. And if as long as we're far away, they can't hear dick. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I saw somebody on the roof of A, and they came down and went in the door, so... A is the tiny building at the end of the street. Correct, we're both... Both groups are looking at it right now. I know where you're at. Ah, okay then. Well, I will swing around and try and get a position where I can see the balcony if you guys want to do the approach thing. Where are you going to set up? Where are you going to set up your support by fire at, Jason? Uh, yeah, good question. Let me get the position first because there's not really good angles from up here, so give me a moment. You know, I'm finding it very hard to believe that they chose this building, but hey, anything's possible. Yeah, okay, I've got balcony from here. There's one guy on the balcony, and I can see him if he sticks his head out again. 
So confirming that is the correct building, and at least one guy, repeat, one guy upstairs covering the balcony. Oh, my bad on that breach, I should have gone through the door. Well, I mean, you didn't decide to creep in and then creep the fuck back out, which triggers the fuck out. It was just unlimited. I fucked up. Damn. I ran out. A lot more grenades.